Second, we'll see the transformation of energy in some application, and we will start with this experiment. When we think about batteries, we usually think about something that we pick up at the store and put in a clock to make it run. But sometimes the only battery you need is something as simple as a lemon from your kitchen. Which sounds crazy, right? But aside from being tasty, lemon juice is also an electrolyte solution, which means it produces a low voltage, about 9 tenths of a volt per lemon. So if we wanted to light this 3 volt LED light, yep, we need 3 volts, so about 4 lemons to make it work. Now, to create the circuit, we'd also need some zinc-covered nails, some alligator clips, and some medium-gauge copper wire, which you can get at a hardware store. Or you can use some of the leftover holiday lights stashed in the closet. The key thing is to create as conductive a circuit as you can. So once you've cleaned your copper wire and zinc nails to make sure they're more conductive, you'll stick a nail in one side of the lemon and a wire in the other side. Positive, negative. Do the same with three more lemons and set them up in a copper to zinc pattern so you can easily connect the alligator clips. And when you're ready to light your LED, fasten the copper side alligator clip to the longer positive end of the LED and the zinc side to the shorter negative end. And there it is, light. If your light's a little dim, go ahead and use a fresher lemon or use the same number of lemons to help you calculate a little math. Either way, if life gives you lemons, you don't just have to stick with lemonade. With this experiment, we conclude that the chemical energy stored in the lemon converted into electric energy as in the simple electric cell. And also, if you connect the lemon with the wire and wrap the wire around the canvas, the needle canvas will deflect under uh, the magnetic field produced by the electric current produced by lemon. And if, if a potato is used instead of a lemon, the needle of the canvas will deflect where the salt solution in the potato has the same effect of acidic solution in the lemon. So let's see the simple electric cell, which is the simple version of our batteries. And it works by converting the chemical energy into electric energy and consists of a glass container containing a dilute sulfuric acid. Two metal plates are immersed in the dilute sulfuric acid. One is copper, which is positive pole, and the other is zinc, which is negative pole. The electric current passes from copper plate, the positive pole, to the zinc plate, which is negative pole. So let's see the experiment. Copper plate, zinc plate, wires in a bulb, and dilute sulfuric acid in a beaker. So now let's make one and see how it works. Take the zinc and copper plates and connect a wire to both of them like this. They will act as electrodes. Next, put the copper electrode and the zinc electrode into the acid. Make sure they do not touch one another. The bulb lights up. We can see that the bulb has started to glow, although it is not connected to any external source of electricity. This shows that the setup... So here we have these items, switch, battery and the lamp. What do you think will happen if we closed the circuit? The lamp will light because the electric current flow through the closed circuit to the light bulb which converts the electric current into light. And here with these items we need to create a alert system for a deaf person and a blind person. So for the deaf person we will create a light alert system by converting electricity to light. And for the blind person, we will make a sound alert system by converting the electric current into sound. So now, let's see the transformation of energy inside the cars. So the heat or the chemical energy stored in the fuel change by burning into thermal or heat energy which change into kinetic or mechanical energy part of it change into electric energy which change into sound in the cassette light in the car lamp and heat energy in electric heater or air conditioner so some application and their converting of energy like the sewing machine which convert the 
electric energy into kinetic energy the tv and cell phones change the electric energy into light and sound the solar cells change solar energy into electric energy and the nuclear reactor change nuclear energy into electric energy so by now we understand and proven the law of conservation of energy which states that the energy is neither created nor destroyed but converted from one form to another now let's see the technological application and the effect on the environment so technology have many effect like positive effect and negative effect positive effect like they make our life easier but the negative effect cause pollution and harm to our health for example the cars their exhausts cause chemical pollution of air the military explosion leave harmful effect disease and cause death the chemical pesticide they cause chemical pollution of soil water and air and they cause cancer and food poisoning the nuclear weapon they cause massive destruction and cause cancer the wireless network cause electromagnetic pollution the loudspeaker cause noise pollution